I'm sitting with the members of the research and development team at ESTS. With me here are Mr. Murtuza Trunkwala, Chief Research and Development Officer, Mr. Narendra Bhore, Development Manager, Ms. Prajakta Sumani, Research Engineer, and Mr. Rishikesh Jadav, who's also a research engineer. Uh, my first question uh, to you, Mr. Trunkwala. What was the concept in introducing a research and development department within a data center? ESDS is in business for last seven years now, and we have come across many challenges, like there were few challenges uh, that even the software provider that we use, the control panel provider, could not solve. And there were even few requirements from the clients. And there are always new technologies coming in altogether. So a technician dedicatedly researching makes a lot of difference than a technician is supporting the client as well as taking out the time to research. So to fulfill the customer requirement in time, we have, there was a need for an R&D team. Uh, Mr. Zadav, can you uh, describe in short the milestones that have been achieved by your research and development team? Uh, in our R&D department, we have many achievements, which includes most of the server-side security issues, then optimizations, and professional solutions to encounter day-to-day -day customers' problem. As you see, to, in today's world, a lot of data is getting generated. And to store that lot of data, we need a proper storage solution. If you see a major server uptime, which is get failed, is due to the hard disk failure, that sometimes RAID get degraded or the disk get failures. So ESDS has all the solutions to protect your hard disk of your server. Currently, ESDS is having 50 petabytes of storage, which comes out to be 50,000 terabyte. ESDS has effectively managed this 50,000 terabytes of data in our house. ESDS is currently supporting all the RAID levels to ensure the data integrity and the availability. In ESDS, for less critical applications, we provide solid state disk storage, which is a very effective and foolproof solution, which avoids all the data loss. There is no physical, physical rotating factor into a solid state drive. That's why it does not get fails due to the edging. What happens in the motion drives is your SATA drives is continuously revolving. After some times, it gets degraded due to the head and the revolution. But, it, but in solid state drives, there is a direct access to the memory. The direct access is always available, and as there is no physical motion, the solid state drives proves to be more efficient than the conventional SATA drives. For a higher mission critical application, we have more advanced storage solutions such as RAMSAN. RAMSAN is a technology wherein we store the data directly on the RAM disk. The RAM disk are said to be the fastest disk after the CPU. CPU has a cache memory, then the data comes on the RAM, and then the data goes on the disk. But if you store all the data onto the RAM, it gives you the highest data write speed. A currently achieved data write speed is 5 Gbps, which is 100 times more than the conventional SATA disk drives. So as I said, uh, the RAM RAMSAN storage solution is the best solution for the one who requires a heavy data to be written in very few amount of time. The data access latency, which in SATA drives is more higher than the RAMSAN storage. Currently, RAMSAN storage is proven that it has 250 times less data latency to the conventional disks. So ESDS can offer you 100% uptime in, in, in storage, in network, in power. ESDS is the best solution for your disaster recovery site, remote data storage, and high volume data write. Uh, Prajakta, I'd like to know what are the steps being taken to revolutionize the data center industry through your research. As a research and development department, we are determined to create new businesses of tomorrow. Uh, our basic policy is to pursue the latest in technology for developing the next generation servers. Uh, through our analysis, we have come to know the major factors which affect the performance of the servers. Uh, those factors are like disk failures, uh, security aspects, security threats, and uh, server overloading. So our main focus is to work on all these aspects and eliminate the drawbacks of all this, which are causing degradation in the performance of servers. Um, 
So through all these measures, uh, we are bringing up a prosperous future uh, to fulfill all the dreams of the data center world. So we are bringing, uh, we are focusing on uh, bringing up 100% uptime in the servers, and uh, we are also working on enhancing the security of the servers. Uh, also, we, ha we are putting efforts in bringing up complete automation in our data center. Uh, Mr. Boy, can you describe what level of automation have you bought in your data center through your research? We have atomized the complete process of server setup, starting from order, order to server installation. For example, customer visits our site esds.co.in, and he will select the order, product or order, and he will just have to uh, configure the um, pro product with required parameters like disk usage, bandwidth, processor, uh, etc. After complete payment verification, Server will begin to install in our uh, in our software eMagic, and login details are sent to client via email and SMS that the server is ready to use. 